Hey everyone, the stream is starting. Who's all here and how y'all doing today? I'm pumped, personally, and I'll explain why very soon. But I want to make sure that everyone gets here first. Just going to stay paused till then. Don't want the timer running. Hey, Ron. I just put up the day se the yeah, I just put up the seventh day uh uh video on YouTube. I'm really starting to feel like I'm getting decent at editing. That feels pretty good. <laughs> How do I properly link to my channel again? One second. I always forget how to do this. There it is. Yes, this is also a horde night. Uh, the what the what I put up was uh, the day seven horde, like the first horde uh, on YouTube. But yeah, we also do have a horde today. We're gonna be going and using the old house for this because well, our tree fort had a bad time last stream. <laughs> I I have learned a lot of things since the last stream. I have to say. I've spent, like, five hours off-stream basically researching and testing how to just... how the stability engine works in this game so that the next time that we build the house that it doesn't fall apart. Because, <laughs> like, that's not cool. Actually, just, just for everyone's... Info. No, oh, debug menu. I want to show everyone what I found. So this is a prefab house. This was built by the devs, randomly generated, etc. Show stability. So this shows the actual stability of the house. Everything that's green is perfectly stable. Yellow means that uh, te technically, if you take something out, it could become unstable and fall. But each there is different shades going all the way up to blood red. A little bit of orange, that's okay. There are worse things. Uh, this is a density 13. Sorry, a stability 13. Uh, stability 8 is when thing or stability tends when things start to fall apart you can see it on the focus block on the left side uh a bunch of what we had was stability of like 9 10 and 11 for the treehouse like a lot of the blocks were not stable in any way and now that i realize that and now i'm starting to get a better concept of how the engine works i have come up with a new design for the treehouse that will hopefully keep it from collapsing this time. <laughs> okay, I'll turn off stability. Turn off the dev menu. And debug menu off. Okay. Cool. I'm going to be using the stability uh, the stability mode in when we actually do the build, just to double check that we haven't fucked anything up. Because I don't want to get like two more hours into that build 
and there'd be another issue. We've already put thousands of concrete mix into this build, and it's all gone. <laughs> Uh, we will have to move where the build is, probably, for because the new design that I have is bigger, to say the least. <laughs> we needed a bigger column so that uh, it would be a lot more reasonable. The design that I've picked out, it, well, not picked out, the design that I've made is a lot closer to a redwood tree than it is to a treehouse in a tree. Uh, it looks really cool, and I look forward to showing y'all. In fact, I will show you just the very basics of it. We can't really do a huge amount yet, because, well, we don't really have a huge amount of time. We need to worry about the horde, and not, not this. Okay. So I want to show you all kind of what it's going to look like. Just very, very vaguely. Just to give kind of a concept. Okay, I'm looking for 5M round one. There we are. And then I want 5M round 2. Round 2. Oh, doesn't work like that. Round 02? Yes, round 02, that works. Okay. Oh. This is a little bit tricky, so bear with me while I try to make it actually work the way it's supposed to. Oh, darn it, that was the right way. No, almost. There we go. so many things to cycle through. Right here. There. Can I do it? Nope, not like that. Oh, yep, got that one, okay. This gets much, much easier, like, once you place the base of this. The base, like, the very, very start of it is the worst part. Okay, I want round three. No! Oh, right, I can just pick these up. Okay, so this is what the actual tree... This is just a slice of, like, one layer of the tree, but this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be a really big fucking tree. It's going to be massive. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, but, uh... It's basically the way that this kind of is working here. I'm just going to take a few blocks out so you can see. This is technically a 5x5 five five block tower, so they're, at that minimum, they are going to have to destroy... They will decrease the stability after they've destroyed about 10 concrete blocks. So, after they've got through about 50,000 durability. But, like, they can go through probably 150,000 durability worth of blocks before... I'm in trouble. So this actually is going to be like a really, really decent design. And I'll show you a bit more later how things are going to work. But uh, the main idea is that stack this on top of it, on top of itself another 11 times. Then we hollow up the very top and we can shoot down at the zombies. We get in by, there's just like one block taken out of the middle. There's like a vertical shaft going down with the ladder going underground, and then there's a path going off way, way far away where we can go go down and travel to here and go up to the actual horde base, is the idea.
Well, I'm thinking of keeping. I'm thinking of keeping the old location, but just destroying what's there, because we already have a. Um, we already have like a concrete flat surface there that we can reuse. So that's fine. And like we might be able to reuse some of the other blocks on the space. Um, but I I'm hoping to reuse that because of the concrete that's already there and the land already cleared. It's going to take a bit to actually take out the concrete that we need to take out. But such is life. I think I think that's probably the best idea. Either that, or like we build like right beside it and let the zombies rip through it over time. <laughs> I don't know. Like I do like the area over there that we're at. Here, I'll just go over there. I really do like the open area that we have because like it's. It's a decent park area. There's not, there's no like real ditches on the edges of it, which would kind of suck because the zombies would get in the ditches and start burrowing. Um, and just generally, it's there's like really clear, clean sight lines. So, either we tear down what's here, just down to the base, or we put it, let's say, right over here just right beside it because then things will st will like stop and hit the uh, old thing and they, they'll slowly ter tear it down over time so there's that at least um technically we can fill in the water it's, like the lake doesn't really have any effect i don't think on the zombies like they're they don't i don't think they're slower or anything in water so like a moat doesn't help and they don't drown because they're zombies so who knows but yeah, it's basically, which is a bigger pain? Flattening the land and rebuilding the pallet, or tearing down the build here? That's basically the question we have to ask, ask ourselves. But, not yet. We'll look into that after the horde. The uh, next most important thing that we need to do is just shore up the uh, horde house we have. Because we have another... That's 1500, so... Um, 23-ish minutes, I'm going to say, before the horde. So we do have some time left, and I want to be able to actually put some stuff down over here. Like, we don't have any spikes out here, and the bars are still missing and stuff, so I want to wanna do some of that stuff. So I'm going to head over to the, uh, back over to the house and grab a few things to work with. Oh, actually... Let me grab some golden run stuff. Oh, we do need more of this. Oh, I will tell y'all though. I came up with a really fucking cool idea how to do leaves on the tree. And like, they're actually going to be like well protected from the zombies and everything. So, I'm kind of excited. Okay, let's go back. We'll go get some spikes, we'll go get some cobblestone rocks, and cement mix, and concrete mix. You know, that stuff. It should not take long to, to uh, reinforce the horde house. I mean, it's, our, it's a pretty sturdy structure to begin with, so there's not really much to do. We just need to shore up the damage. Having that natural fence around it's really nice. Okay. I do have a lot of concrete blocks making right now for the actual treehouse. I just put them on before we started streaming. Uh, so those will finish. I don't want it to actually touch any of that concrete because I don't want to keep it for the house. So, we'll make do with what we have here.
food. Uh, I shall eat some peas. Eating pe canned peas sounds just awful, like right out of the can. Uh. <laughs> Do collectors. Cool, six more water. And I'm gonna not hit the land claim block this time. I'm never going to live that down, am I? <laughs> They're new blocks, so it's hard to remember the name. Yes, we will... Honestly, we need more Drippy Meisters. We have two more water filters, so... It should be fairly easy to get them done. Great. Glad to hear it. Back. Okay, four pipes. Cool. I'm gonna put them on to craft here. We won't need them to later anyways, so... Oh! We have water cooking. Oh, and lots of grilled meat, man. I'm gonna make another... I don't know. 25 red team, maybe. Nah, I can do 30. I don't want to use up all the water in case we need to make more paint. There we go. Bring five. Yeah, I'll bring five grilled meat with me and a few red teas. These will keep me together. So, what do I need for this horde? I'm actually probably going to put the robotic sledge out. Just like leave that outside and see what happens. We have lots of iron spikes. I don't really want to use the iron spikes though. Shoot, I didn't even think to make wooden spike traps. No, well, six. We have six minutes. That'll be fine. Uh, what do I need? Well, I should drop off some shit because I'm not gonna need all of this right now. Uh, yes, I did put a flame mod on the sledge. Unfortunately, it doesn't show when you have it placed, though. Okay, what weapons am I going to use for the horde? What? Uh, how much ammo do I have? A lot of ammo. A lot of nine millimeter and shotgun. Not a lot of seven six two. So I'm actually going to put the tar away for this. Maybe I should keep it as a backup. I don't really want to have any issues. I'll keep the tar as a backup, but I don't want to use too much ammo this horde. We don't have a huge amount to work with. A 900 9mm should be fine. Uh, pistol. Can we make any better pistols? We still can't even make a level 1 pistol! Ugh! I'm gonna put one, just one point into the pistol mastery, just so that it makes pistol books spawn more. Ooh, archery. Oh, I definitely should add more to archery, because I do use it a lot. Uh, I can make a better wooden bow, but I don't really, I don't really want it right now, because we do have the compound bow coming up. Uh, we're level 24. Oh, you need 39 with the compound bow. Ouch. Well, whatever. I'll stick with the wooden bow. One level is not a huge amount. 
Uh, what do I have rad remover on? Oh, I need, I'm gonna put the rad remover on the car. I don't know if we're gonna get any radioactives yet, but... Better be safe than sorry. And where did I put the repair kits is the next question. Or do I just... Okay, no, I do have some. I was gonna be like, did I run out completely? Ugh. Okay, I need a... Clammer. There we are. Oh. Spike. I need more of you. Okay. I'm gonna bring all the repair kits, because I need them. Okay, I have, uh... I have the magazine extender and the muzzle brake, and the magazine extender, scope, and rod remover. Um... What is there anything else I can put on the bow besides the hunter? Oh, <gasps> Can I put the flaming shaft mod on the bow? No. No, of course not. I wish you could. <laughs> I doubt there's anything I can put on the bow right now, unfortunately. I'm just gonna check some of the stupid mods, because there's always a chance that there'll be some weird mod you can put on it. No. Okay, that's fair. Okay, we'll finish up all the stone arrows, and... Uh... I don't have a huge amount of iron, iron arrows, but I can always make more. That's not a big deal. My limiting factor is gunpowder currently. And, and lead. How many until the next shotgun? Um, let's see. Shoddy. Oh, God. 16 books. And the pump shotgun's actually, like, really good. Well... I'm gonna put a point in Boonstick. <laughs> let's see if let's see if I can get some shotgun parts to drop. Wait, this doesn't increase the amount of shotgun parts you get. I've been ripped off. Darn it. What do I have anyways? Do I have I need to up my machine gunner perk, because I use one of the machine gun more than anything else. I'm not putting a point in Knuckles. We've had this discussion. <laughs> I don't do Knuckles. Knuckles is poorly balanced at best. We've been here before. You know what? I'm just going to grab a ton of arrows. I just make a ton of stone arrows. I'm not too, too worried. I, I mean, my 9mm, or 9mm, my pistol should be decent with all the 9mm we have, so... I won't need too many arrows. Make another 100. Okay. Oh, I'd rather use the tar more than anything else, but it's just too expensive. Oh, it's so good. Okay, is there anything else I need? I'm trying to think. Ah, I, I wish I could use these shotgun shells for something. Can I, can I have steel arrows? No, I can't. Okay. I think this is as good as I'm going to get. Okay. Uh, I don't really need the cubes on me, but... Okay, let's actually get going before I run out of time to fix things and such. Nope, I don't care. Go away. I'm so happy we have a mini bike. It took so bloody long. So long. Hopefully the uh 
the updates in 21.1 help with that issue. Um, okay, I'm gonna put my bike over here. I don't think they'll attack the bike, but I also don't want to risk them attacking the bike, so... Yeah. Okay, what's the best way to do this? I think what I'm actually gonna do for this... Uh, let's see. Bar. No. Bar. Wait, are these... Okay, yeah. It's these ones. Cool. Yeah, the next vehicle is the motorcycle, but it's pretty far away. Like, another, like, 15 books away. It's just so much- it's just so superior to use concrete bars now over metal bars, because they're twice the durability and, in my opinion, they're easier to repair. Okay, put out some spikes now. At least you can't as easily place spikes in you anymore. That sucked. That was not a good... good... bug, I guess? Incidental feature? <laughs> Okay, so we do have some stuff still. Some spikes are still left. Oh, I was putting them up here! I forgot about that. I should do that more. That is so not stable. They're gonna run up the little slope anyway, so this is probably for the best. Repair, please. There we go. Let's try trying to find like that one sweet spot. Oh yeah, a lot of this stuff is low cobblestone rocks. I always forget that. Okay, are there any of these that need to be repaired quickly? Oh yeah, they wiped out all the spikes back here. not walk into the pile over there. Okay, that's dealt with. Let's pick up some... No, let's fix up the last few things. I'm glad that this side has spikes still, because I'm out. I would make more if I had time, but I did not really plan for that. I'm too excited to actually build the house that I just don't care all that much. Ow! Son of a... <laughs> I just don't care all that much for the horde. <laughs> Damn it! We did not do that. Okay, where should I put the sledge? Usually things break through here, so... I think what I'm going to do is put the sledge directly behind the gate, and hope that works. Or, I can put it where the all the zombies ended up last time, if they get inside, which is the stairwell. I, this might destroy my sledge, but I don't really care. 
Uh, okay. This is where they all ended up eventually anyways. Wait, no. I want it to be a little bit farther forward. Okay. So, let's see. Do you spin enough over to hit things coming through here? Because this is where they like to come through from the back. Yep! Okay. It'll be fucking awesome there. Uh, I don't know if I, how much I care about the how together this house is. Actually, realistically, I should have I should reinforce a central pillar, though they're probably not going to get through anything like that right now. It's just one horde. If this was, like, a later horde, it'd be a problem, but not really. What's game stage are we on? Oh. Okay. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. We're game stage 62. Okay. We don't have the scary zombie yet. Which is good. There's a really scary one at game stage 85 that I am excited and terrified for. Something in that mix. <laughs> okay. okay. Any last minute prep? It's probably for the best for me not to get into detail yet, because it's more fun to have a surprise. But I'll tell you, it's called the Demolisher. And it's probably the biggest of all the zombies. So, take that as you will. <laughs> okay, I need to actually get upstairs. There's already a zombie trying to get in. Uh... Okay, is there anything I need to clear here? Not really. It cannot spawn before game stage 85, is, is the rule. So, after that point, it's fair game during the hordes. Uh, it can spawn during hordes, and it can spawn very rarely downtown in wasteland, desert, and polar cities. Those are its, its spawning conditions. Generally, you only see them during the Horde, and, like, as you start to get up to, like, game stage 100+, plus, you start to see them, like, multiple every Horde. I'll take first aid bandage. Some vitamins. Definitely pipe bombs. I'm gonna leave the actually valuable stuff in here. Next down, keep the repair kit on me. Cool. Okay, I don't have any other buffs, but that's okay. Oh, the horde has already started. I didn't even hear the sounds. Nope, not that. Are they out front? Yes, they're out front. trying to pump out as many arrows as I can, as fast as I can. <laughs> oh, there are multiple puppers. I 
see him down there. Okay, you know what? No, need to clear the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, did I throw it wrong? Get over there. Okay, good. That got some. Actually, got a bunch of them. Nice. I love pipe bombs. I was a biker wiggling around the ground. Oh, it's it's incredible. <laughs> It's such like a gruesome, dark thing to laugh at, but you can <laughs> later on when you have blade traps, um... <laughs> it like it can cut off limbs, as you would imagine from a giant spinning blade, um, and it can actually cut off all of a zombie's limbs and just leave them as like a wiggling torso, and the torso is not dangerous. Obviously, because, like, it's just a torso. But, like, it's always so sad, especially, like, with the, like, special zombies. It's like, well, I should probably just put it out of its misery, because it's just, like, wiggling there. I do look forward to blade traps, and now that I have a better idea how to get the trap books, I am very excited because we will be able to get them quickly if we target farm uh, Mopo more power on um, electronic stores. Hey! Don't you dare get over that! I got 3,600 from that pipe bomb. Nice. I'm just, like, leaning forward to see better, and that's not going to help me. I cannot zoom. I guess technically I can zoom with my face. Man, there's a lot. Very good XP. Very, very good XP. I need to make more pipe... Well, I need to make pipe bombs. I've never actually made pipe bombs. I just find them at times. Oh, shit! One got over the fence just by standing on the other zombies, I think. Oh, I also need to remember to actually put points into stealth, because I do want to have stealth as, like, a thing, because stealth is really fun in this game. And I don't have enough stealth to actually be stealthy yet. And they're stacking up. Always makes me nervous. Uh, oh, are they on a different side now? I hear something. Is that... I think the garage door is still intact. Are, there must be things inside. I don't know why it stopped spawning outside, though. I see a random zombie. Wow, that was weirdly too late. This makes sense that something would have gotten in. Is 
where's the rest of everything? It's only midnight. I think it bugged. Or ran out? I don't know. That looks a whole lot like the horde has ended. Okay. Well. Yeah. Well, I don't actually care that this is on the around. He can come out and find me. How do I get out again? There you are. Oh no, is this like an actual wave of zombies now? Yep, they're, they're just coming from a different side than I thought. Fuck. Okay, so we do have a horde still going. Okay, that's good. I was worried that it was done. Oh, that is the worst spot for them to come in. It's so hard to, like... I have, like, such a short amount of time to shoot them. And it's not necessarily enough to get them, either. Yeah, I'm going to use the pistol. Is the tar reloaded? Okay, it's reloaded. Did I just see... I swear I saw a shadow of a vulture. God damn it. I don't want things to pile up below me, because besides the fact that they're just tearing the house apart, I also won't get the chance to shoot them. And... There's more zombies alive, there's less zombies spawning. That garage is like a serious weak point in this, this design. Ah, oh, it's okay. We won't be here. This is our last horde here. Assuming that I don't explode another horde base. Or treehouse. Day 32, or day 31 to day 34. Wait, no. 28 to 30... 28 to 32, actually, I think. That... Nope, they just won the house. <laughs> Shit. Okay, before they actually get up here, let's go up to the, our safe area. How's... Oh! <laughs> our sledge is working well. Oh! It does set things on fire! That's great! I never really thought about it, but like, there's no disadvantage to having the robotic stuff out. Like, it doesn't matter whether you spec into it or not, having a robotic sledge is just useful, and having, like, a robotic turret is just useful.
One of those things you get a lot of use out of even without specking anything into it. <laughs> Is that the businessman on fire? Good turret. I love watching it hit things. Ugh. Very funny. <laughs> I knocked that one down the stairs! <laughs> Just in time for the sled to kill it. Oh, that's so funny. I love, I really love the sledge down there. That's awesome. It shouldn't be this effective, but it is. just so funny watching it just punt things. Hit it! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, it's actually doing so- oh god. Oh, fuck. It's actually doing some decent work. Do I have the- I already have them on me. Yeah, get him! Get him! <laughs> they don't seem to even be damaging it. Still got a decent amount of ammo left. Still got a lot of ammo left. Are they all out on the one northwest? Yeah, they are. Ugh. Stop coming in there and circumventing all my defenses. I'm so rude. Lots of police officer. That's not good. Kill that. Oh, right. I shouldn't be on this level, because zombies are now on this level. Come on. I want to hit him in the head so he ragdolls down, and then the thing hits him. The sledge. Oh god. I need to be careful not to destroy what I'm standing on. I love the sledge so much, it's just so funny to watch it. Oh, I have an abrasion. When did that happen? Oh, it went from the fucking vultures, of course. They're always- they're always the thing that gives you the status effects. Well, also they're like the only thing that's managed to hit me so far. No, I'm sure I got hit by zombies when I was down there. Hmm. Lame and dogs. Okay, that makes sense. 
Man, it's really nice having other people watching. Because, like, I don't have to notice or remember everything. And I'm not capable of remembering most things. My goldfish memory. I just... It's just too funny watching them get sent across the room. Not going down there while there's still a dog down there. The sledge doesn't seem to do much damage, but set them being on fire does. And the fact that it keeps knocking them away does help as well. Oh, I don't have any... Uh, okay, well I guess this is the closest thing I have to a bladed weapon. I forgot that I might need to... Uh... Wait, I can just make a bone knife. I forgot that I might need to actually butcher things. Put the pipe bombs away before I accidentally pipe bomb something that I don't need to. This house is starting to look a bit rough. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a level 6 wrench. Oh my gosh, I have to see if that's better than my ratchet or not. Because it might be. Ooh. That was a weird lag. Oh, I didn't notice you say it earlier. Yeah, the sledge is definitely the MVP. Eh. Let me repair. Thank you. It was definitely something. I think they're out over here. It's easier to forget, but this house actually has a massive underground complex. So things also might end up down there. Hey, they didn't fully destroy the garage door. They just opened it. Okay, what do we have? Gosh darn it, my... most of my spikes didn't do anything. I am glad, though, that you convinced me to put the uh, sledge where I did, though, because that's... that was the best trap of all of them. Ooh, 762. Nice. Ooh, handgun magazine. Always good. Oh, I don't have any of my concrete or anything on me. I should go grab that before I leave. I don't want to forget at this house. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, that's convenient. Bleh. Snake. Danger Noodle! I'm sorry, friend. But you were... You weren't just a noodle, you were a Danger Noodle. Oh! 
<laughs> I'm crouching. That's why I'm moving so slow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel really silly now. I really don't need to upgrade these or fix them. And yet here I am. As soon as I see something that needs to be fixed, I just have, like, a burning desire to do so. Oh, all of the spikes back here were very useful, apparently. Oh. Iron spear. Nice. I already have my own. Tuna. Okay, cool. Oh, man. They took out a block there. I do appreciate that no matter what, at least we can come back to this place if we ever do want a disposable place for the horde. I guess I have to go at the back. <laughs> Untrack the Duke Collector. Okay, what do I actually want to leave here? I don't think anything, considering that this is not the house I'm staying in anymore. Actually, things are going to get destroyed if I leave them here. Because of, like, the chunk reset thing. This would be better to shovel, but whatever. You actually don't lose anything by using an, a pickaxe instead of a shovel, I've learned. Which is silly. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. I don't think there's anything else in this house I really need. Before I abandon it to reset eventually. Ah oh, yes, I can open the non-existent door. Coffee? Oh, you don't get coffee. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, but I was hoping. I can't help but just, like try to loot everything that I could possibly get out of this structure. Oh. You've been down here this entire night, just like, chilling. We have a locked wall safe here? Uh... I probably knew that at some point. I vaguely remember knowing that at some point. Money. Cool. That's not too bad. I should really go home and get my real tools if I actually want to go around and do this. Actually, what happens if, what happens if I take apart a workbench? Mm, not much. Hmm. 
Oh well, had to try. Oh, hello. You're a feral. Right, I don't have a way back up. Is any of this stuff lootable? No. Oh, yes! There's actually some stuff here that can be looted. That's underwhelming, but that's okay. Okay, I'll go back now. Okay, now we leave this house probably for a while. Do I have okay I do have this I do have the things on me. Get that stuff healed up. Yeah, it served me quite well. I think we use it for, like, four hordes. I need to remember that my mini bike also has its own storage. I'm not used to having the mini bike yet, so... It's very easy to forget that I have, like, two-thirds of an inventory worth of storage in there that I can stick stuff in. It's just, yeah, there's nothing in here that's too important. Keep repair kits in here, because I need them. Adventuring supplies. I need a pipe. It's, it's worth 160 now. Can I do a full auto mod on it? Darn. I don't want to sell any mods on their own because I can make them so much more valuable if I put them on something. I don't need a bow knife. And I will put the arrows on here. Pipe bombs in here. Cat food. No. Dog food. Sixteen. That should be more than enough. And then some red tea. I'll take two. Don't really need the bandages right now. Okay, so with stuff on it, or not with those stuff on it, 
So this is what I have, and I go over to here. The wrench is better for block damage. Yep, it's still a bit better. Okay. I figured. Well, at least I do have a very nice wrench. And I can put a bunch of crap on that. To sell it. Put that on there. And I'm sure I can put one of these mods on here. Yeah, it's already a thousand tokens for this wrench. I just need one more mod and it'll be super good. <laughs> and I'll keep my ratchet. Okay, I think... Hmm, I'm trying to think of what's the best thing to do right now. We could go work on the house, and while we're doing that, wait for Nightfall, and then when Nightfall comes, we can swap from building mode over to, um, to doing the uh, Restore Power quest, because that can only be done at night. And we need to be there at, like, when it turns night, because of the time that it takes. Okay, all the concrete blocks are done. Put the remaining dew collectors up. Okay, I don't know what the bounds of these are right now. Can I put another one, like, right here? Oh, I saw the... the... No, I don't really want to put it just, like, over the void. Thank you very much. Well, whatever. Whatever. Okay, cool. So we now have five. So it'll be making, I think, roughly three. So we'll have about 15 water come in every, like, 24 to 36 hours from that. So that's good. Lots of red tea. Yeah, five. Five is good. What am I missing? I'm missing a... Well, I'm missing the paintbrush. And I also want my hunting knife. And my axe. Use those. Oh, I don't need the pistol at all. The sledge I will put away in my bike. Okay. I'll take the building cubes as well. My shovels and my bike. All the concrete mix. All the cobbles and rocks. Leave a little bit so I can auto-sort in the chest. I need stone so badly. Oh, and paint. Paint is good. Now, is there anything I'm going to miss right now if I go over there and don't have it? I hope not. Anything here I need to do? Uh, that I can process. And then there's nothing in there, and I don't really need to output any more iron right now. A little bit left there. Okay, let's go.
This thing doesn't use very much fuel, I gotta say. Haven't filled it up in a while. I don't know if I filled it up since I put since I put it down the first time. I'm gonna make a new area. I think that's probably the best plan. Leave most of my crap in here. For now. I'm not gonna paint for a while anyways. Actually, I don't need my lockpicks on me either. Okay, I have to figure out, I don't actually know how much space I'm going to need for this yet. Because, like, I know how big the build is going to be itself, but I don't know what I want to put around it, because I haven't really planned that part yet. I hate grass. Stop getting in my way. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to put music on again. I always forget if it's not just going that it exists. Okay, it's my soft music. Okay, that's a 4x4. Four four. And the base itself is a 5x5. Five five. So this will be my central area. So this is roughly how big the tree itself is going to be. Yeah, I think it should be fine putting it right there. Don't see any reason not to. I can't, like, color things before I... No, I can't color things before I place them. That's too bad. Okay. This is the center. Go. Where's my bike? Let me go get my lawnmower. It's the fastest attacking weapon in the game, so it's like really good for this. Nice big ring around it. I'm not disturbed while I'm digging.
this attacks way faster than my shovel, and I don't really want to be shoveling a ton of grass. Okay, that's a good start. So, so happy that I can one-shot the blocks. It sucks when you can't. Can y'all hear the music? Just to, like, check. Because I can hear it. I also need to figure out, like, a decent balance for it with my voice. I'm always worried that you won't be able to hear me over it. That's why I usually keep it so quiet. places. Let's see how much of a pad we have in relation to the size of the actual structure. No. No, I just dropped... I dropped the things. I dropped my building blocks. Oh no. I'll oh, shoot. Go away. I'm building. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Maybe maybe you can stay for a little bit. Or stay forever, actually. Because I'm gonna She backflipped before I hit her. Are these just paid actors? Seven six two and some recog and some magnum ammo. Ow! Butt head. Butt face. Yeah, somehow I managed to. Either I used up or I destroyed all my my shapes, and I don't like that. Let me make some more. Just so I have... I, I just, I prefer to work with these, to, at least to start with, than... The... I want to work with these instead of the concrete, just because the concrete can't be picked up easily. again now. So I need a uh, cube 5M round one. I 
Should be this one. Yeah. It's it's hard to tell, but these are like it's ever so slightly curved. It just looks it looks better than the solid blocks do. Trust me, it looks really ugly with like that slight seam that you get otherwise. Okay. Five M, so there should be another. It's five M four. I want five M two. Five M round two, right? Yeah. I made a list. I came prepared. Okay, we get to do the hard part. On its face, was that? Nah, oh, it's not useful. Okay, we get to do the hard part right now of trying to get this to face the right direction. Okay, there. Okay, got that one. Okay. No. No. Damn it. Stop that. Yes. Okay. Then I need a three. I need a three. Okay. It's the tree trunk right there. Yeah, we'll definitely need more stuff eventually, but for now, this will be okay as a platform. I need to make sure not to fill the middle block in. Because the middle block is where the ladder is going to go. Actually, let me just put a random ladder in there. Just to make sure that I remember not to fill it. Okay, copy shape. Should I build this? Hmm. I don't think if I should just build up the middle part first and then do the extra parts. Yeah, that's probably the best. Okay, so it's two, three, four, five. Do five for now. The whole thing is 12 tall. 11 for the ceiling. Three, eight for the floor? No, seven for the floor. Okay, should be on level seven. So I should be able to go up another two, if my math is right. It's always good to do the same shape, like, all at once. It just makes it so much easier than just constantly switching shape, because you already have to constantly switch rotation anyways. Not with these, obviously, but with the other ones. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Okay, that looks seamless. Good. Copy rotation. We are going to have a treehouse. We will we will achieve this dream. It won't just be a dream any longer. And this will be a stable treehouse too. I have done painstaking work to make sure that this will be a stable 
treehouse. Glad y'all are excited too. Shit. Oh. Okay, I gotta find the rotation again. I fluffed up. There we go. That is why I need to copy... That's why I need to, to play, or replace those later. The bottom blocks. I also need to make sure I successfully copy the rotation, because if I place like seven concrete, only to figure out that I've done it wrong, it's really gonna suck. The bottom ones are the bottom ones are guidelines to make sure that I'm actually putting them in the right rotation and such. Okay, copy shape, copy rotation, copy rotation. Oh shoot! Actually, this one doesn't use advanced rotation, so that's fine. Is that right? hate placing these. Okay, no. Fuck that. I'm not gonna take a risk with that one. Copy shape. I think that's right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I can just upgrade this. I don't know, like... The devs were very, to, to my understanding, they were very green when they started this game. Like, it was just a few of them, and there was, like, they were very new to it, and, like, there was a lot that they were learning. And this entire game has been a, as far as I know, has been a learning process for them. So... What I'm saying is it might not have been a conscious choice so much as just this is how it ended up. It's hard to say. Like, being able to, like, having, like, okay, the need to destroy blocks to remove them does suck. Putting that aside, the, um, the re, like, blocks being as hard as they are to destroy makes a lot of sense. Just because, like... If you give players the ability to just, like, destroy their blocks instantly or something, um, you have to make sure that it's only that player, and that those blocks are all registered to that player, and that, like, if you do a PvP thing, that, like, none of the- that's- it's, like, careful what you're allowed to interact with, and, like, there is a number of complications with it, but I do wish the system was a little bit different. Okay! We have a cylinder! It is my favorite cylinder. So that's about 60% of the design there. We're good, it's gonna go a bit higher. But just because I want to see what it looks like ultimately, I'm going to do some paint now. Because it's gonna look awesome. Okay, paint surface.
Actually, before I do this, just take a screenshot. You know, for posterity. Okay. Now we have a giant tree log stump thing. And we can't make... Fortunately, we are not... There's no way to make gra or grass, like, texture for the concrete, so we're going to be doing gravel for the ground. There we go. Um, oh, wait. I want to do all sides. Okay, cool. No. Paintbrush. Just do singles. Get those ones. I couldn't see the surface, so I wasn't able to do them. Which is good. I'd prefer it, like, be more careful than not. Okay, I'll take out the guides now. Don't need those. Yep, it's definitely starting to come together. Okay, where... Oh my gosh, that's all 250 that I, uh, blocks that I prepared. Already gone, just to build this. So we're probably going to need... I mean, based on that... The top parts aren't going to be as solid. Um, I need 78 for the bars. And... I want some cobblestone blocks to cap it. Hmm. It's gonna need more than 280 concrete. Uh... Hmm... I mean, the safe number is... I'll get another 100 if I can. Actually, 80 should be sufficient. Okay, so that'll be working. I'm gonna turn this back to just a basic block. And... Oh yes, that's what I'm doing. Okay, gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's now seven tall. Okay. Uh, for the sake of making sure I get this right, I'm gonna switch over to my creative world right now, and I'm gonna show you what the actual final design is gonna look like. So I wanted to make sure, like, I'd actually, like, I actually built this in creative to make sure that it would be solid and not fall over and fall apart and all of that. Because that sucked, and I don't want to do that again. <laughs> okay, so here is what it's eventually going to be. It has its own little... It has its own hair, it has a hedge, a bunch of hedges on top of it, and a uh, little bars here, so I can shoot down at the zombies. It's floor, and we have the ladder going down. That's what it's eventually going to look like, uh, just to show the stability of it. Debug menu. Show st stability. So... The entire tower itself is 100% stable, which is ungodly good. Um, the uh, roof has a tiny bit of issue, I think. Yeah, the roof has some small issues here. Uh, but at worst, it's dense. It's stability 13, which is fine. We don't want to drop below stability 11. Then we have the bars, which, as far as I know, only get out to stability 13 as well. So, generally, this is a fairly stable design. Uh, show stability. Okay. 
So let me measure this just to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. One. Oh shit, these are. Well, whatever. Fine. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven will be. Okay, seven's going to be where we stop then and where we have the hollowed out area. So, okay, so I'm doing this right. Good. So, all I want to place is I want the corners and these, but those blocks I'm going to stop there and nothing in the 3x3 three three inside. Okay, I got that. I can go back to working now, then. The rest of this is just, like, me testing a variety of different things. Like, this floating thing right here. These, this floating, this set of floating farm plots. This is 100% stable. There is, as far as the game is concerned, it is, this is fully secured. Right, right here. Unlike the treehouse, which was not. Full and stable. Well, except that corner, but I broke that. Intentionally. Because the cool thing is, is if you use, like, very thin plates, like these right here, on the top and on the bottom, then you can actually make it look like things are floating and even walk underneath them, and it still be considered a solid block by the collision, by the uh, stability engine, but not the collision engine. Which is amazing. Oh, and this is, like, the old treehouse design. I was trying to, like, try to figure out how to make it more secure, but, like, adding the base didn't do anything. And I added some supports in for the upper parts, didn't do anything. And this was just me testing whether I could shoot through the hedges, and you can, in fact, shoot through the hedges. That's cool. Oh, yes, and then there's also things like this, which is also completely and totally stable. Which is stupid, I might add. But funny, and it does give us the chance to build, like, hovering buildings and stuff. Which would be kind of cool. Okay, let's go back to the actual world. Ah, the EDM is nice. I'm a big fan of EDM, so lo-fi EDM is pretty... pretty good. Suits my... my tastes. Okay, so with 1800, we want to be over there at 2200. So I can do a bit more building, and I'll be fine. Now let's get up here, because we currently have a way up here. I guess I could just make base... Nah, I'll just pillar up. Stupid of good old noob pillar. Three tall is what I need it at. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, and that runs me out of blocks. Uh, I can build some out of would actually that'll work too. Two three one two three and actually I don't have to upgrade these all the way either. Two three I want the bottom blocks to be concrete. 
but I don't need, like, the really top stuff to be concrete. That's just kind of a waste of materials, unfortunately. Though I do have a theory that I'll share right now, and I can't really back it up too, too well besides just the stuff I've noticed in testing, but I believe, I believe that the weight of a block does not affect the... It does not affect the stability of the design. Oh shoot, I can't... Well, okay, I'll do the other the outside stuff later. Actually, I can just do this all cobblestone rocks. I don't need cement on any of this. Cobblestone rocks is way, way, way cheaper. Because the only thing that's going to be hitting this stuff is probably vultures, and vultures don't have much block damage, to the best of my knowledge. Like, they're mainly for, like, entity damage, and, like... All of their skill is in flight and status ailment chance. Skill, quote unquote. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh, whatever. We're going to be changing the color of these blocks anyways, so it doesn't matter what it looks like right now. Okay, bar. We want the non-centered bars. Okay. Right here. No, that's not right. We want these bars, specifically. What's going on? Why are you doing that? Okay, whatever. Can I... Oh. I'm gonna do it on both sides. Rude. Okay, there we go. on the edges there. Oh, I'm going to have to break this block in particular, unfortunately. Forgot about that. I need to break one of these on each side, because otherwise I'm going to have a spot I can fall down here, and I need to put bars there to just protect myself. It's kind of unfortunate to have to make a little divot, but whatever. Oh, I should paint it first, actually. Just to make sure that... ...looks decent. Texture picker. Is this all sides? No. Okay, that's all sides. And this needs to just be outside. Because I will paint the other sides with something else. Okay. Wait, no, wrong thing. Bars. Copy rotation. What's that? Auto rotate. I don't know what that does. There we go. Okay, that makes it a bit easier to just exist. Then... Eh. Eh! Oh, I hate this! Okay. Easier method. Copy sheet. Just want a basic, normal block right here. Urgh. Place, damn it! Thank you. 
Okay, that's exactly what I want. Because now I can do this. And I can just pick them up from the bottom. Get rid of them then. Okay, that goes there. Place this here. Oh, okay, I should actually... I need to place a storage chest and leave some stuff here. Because it is time to go, so we can do our quest on time. I don't need any of that. Um... I guess I don't need the rest of it either, but... Okay, whatever. I'll leave that stuff there. Wait, no. No, 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 no. I don't need that on me. Ah, got it. Okay, it's starting to get there. And now, dump this crap. I'm gonna eat, like, all the steak that I can. Grab some red tea. I'm gonna take the sledge with me. I'm gonna take the... whatever this thing is, wrench with me. Ratchet, that's the word. Okay. Oh, I should have my lockpicks on me. That still wasn't enough food? Oh my gosh. Okay. And I'm running a bit behind schedule. That's unfortunate. Okay. That's fine though, because you need to start the quest between 2200 and 100. Boy, that popped in at a bad time. So as long as we start it by, like, 2300, we should have more than enough time. God, I can't wait for my Batman-esque motorcycle. Cool, we're actually going to be here around 2200. We're going to very quietly do this. Okay. Restore power. Clear area, restore generators. Oh, actually, I have skill points. I have skill points. I can put them into Hidden Strike. Uh, actually, I kind of need to run the shadows more, but I need more agility for that anyways. Why am I so loud? Do I not have good gear on for this? Oh, I see one right there. Is there is there a chicken in there's a chicken inside the bakery? Okay, I see a lumberjack, but his head is stuck in something, so I can't shoot it. Still I got 5x damage. That's pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna loot some stuff back here. 
Try not to loot too much stuff, though, because I don't want it to be noisy. I can always loot after. Not there. Actually, is that... Okay, good. That's reloaded if I need it. I'm still way too loud. I don't want it all, going all the way up to 36. Or only dropping down to 36. It's not enough. Okay, there's one. Should be another one here somewhere. Wait. Okay, there's one right here. I think there's one up here. Okay, there's not. I've been in this building before, and that one... Stuff has fallen from there before. That's why I was concerned. Is there one right there? Yes. Iron arrow. Nice. It's an open wall safe. Okay, I'm lucky that that did not go worse than it could have. Or than it did. Salvage tools, bloody crafting. Deaths sometimes have really good loot. Keyword being sometimes. Sometimes when I... Oh, gosh. Sometimes when I stop, it's because I'm trying to get my, my noise in the bottom left to lower. That's locked. That one's locked. That goes the outside. This one's unlocked. Let's be very quiet. I'm gonna move very slowly. I don't see any zombies, and I don't like that, because that means they're somewhere else. Unseen. I see a businessman right there. Can I get a better OS? No. Line, line of sight. Oh! Oh shit, that's a cop. Holy shit, I killed a cop with arrows. That's terrifying. I pick up all these chairs that are out of my way.
Okay, the area's still not clear. And there's still the generator, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Must be if there's a key rack. Okay, who's down there? Aha! Oh, I thought there was another zombie. No, but just his head. Oh yeah, this is their super weird bunker. Forgot about that. I know that there's something in, like, at least one of those crates has something in it. But you have to open it at the face. There we are. Happy didn't hear that. Okay, I'm clear there. Oh, here's the generator. Activate small qu- oh, that concerns me. It's not gonna happen. Oh no! It makes noise if you fail! Or if you activate it? I don't know. Yay, light! Okay. Whoa, oh fuck. Where did you come from? They must have appeared because of the, uh, the generator. Okay, I'm going loud. Return to Trader. Okay, we cleared it. That's really cool. I'm happy that they added new new uh, types like this, new quest types. That's fun. Now I can go back and actually loot things. Now I shall open the beaver box. Oh. Rifle parts, shotgun parts, baton parts. Shotgun crafting, shotgun crafting, assault rifle, medical. Oh, iron knuckles are actually worth something. For once, knuckles are worth something. Okay, I do want that for something, though. Can I put that on this? Yes, but there's no value to it, because I already have the burning shaft. Uh, what can take another mod, if anything? Oh, can I put this... No, I can't put this on the thing. I was hoping I could put it on the, uh, bow. Okay, this gun rack I missed, so I'll go back to that. Well, okay, I didn't miss it. I, I skipped basically everything. Oh, baseball bat. Okay, that's good. 
because I can take the baseball bat and put the barbed wire and the extra wood splitter on there. So I already I think I have like several wood splitters. Actually, that only makes it 41. I need a better baseball bat for that to be worth it. Still, it'll hold it for now. And that will hold that. I'll have to disassemble them when I get home. Take these apart for some plastics. And paper. If we ever actually do decide to use the shotgun more regularly, paper will be valuable. I commented on this in the last stream, but it's really creepy that this bakery had, like, a fucking jail cell underneath it. Like, I understand having, like, a horde, like, anti... Like, like a bomb shelter down here. I get that. But I don't understand what possible reason you could have for having a cell back there. Like, that's not something you just build without intention. Which is creepy as fuck. on parts, that's okay. Bow crafting. Okay, I need to get back up somehow. I don't want to go outside, so ideally I want to get up using this. Uh, do I? I need to make some building blocks, I guess. Oh, I can't because all four of these corners are used up by something. No, I don't do that. I must have to break this one and the one below it. But this is the one that's filling up the space. There we go. Okay, that just goes over, over back at the bakery. Door shelves. Those are empty. Oh, there's two destroyed vending machines in this. That's awesome. That should give me. I will give you one forge deal. Thought I gave you three every time. Oh well. Okay, four forge deal. That's really good. Slowly learning where to go to collect it before you can actually make it. Now that it's just so far in the future to make it. Behind that. Nope. Cupboard. Nope, nothing behind those. Take the clay and such. Oh, yeah, I can get a ton of cornmeal here. Cornmeal's good. You can use it to make a bunch of different food recipes. And 
and you get a lot of it in a bakery. Because it's it's what it's their replacement for flour. Why is that red? Oh. What what is this? It's just a berry up there. It's weird. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, is this from the basement? Oh, I was confusing the oh, okay. I was confusing this prefab with the uh, this dungeon with uh, the bank because the bank lets out on the street. Okay, that's that's fine. I'll look for next time. Pop seeds. Uh, what do I need the least here? Well, I can put the gas in here. And also, I can just put everything in here so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to take the plastic. The traitor! Oh yeah, we need to do the prison! I forgot about the prison. That's a four spell as well. Yeah. We're gonna take an intermission in a moment. Just a heads up. What do I actually want to sell to him? No, I don't need the fortifying grip. I can sell that. Still club parts I can sell. Tom parts I can sell. Baseball, it's part, the baseball bat itself I'll sell, but I want to keep it just so I can transport those easier. This will sell. This will sell. Yeah, that should be good. Oh yeah, he's not open yet. He's, he doesn't open until 6.30. Right. I'm, like, rushing around trying to get there. Can we have bird's nest around here? Make some iron arrows. Oh my gosh, I'd love if I could get some eggs, too. Make some more bacon and eggs. Because I have a stupid amount of meat. Yeah, it is interesting we haven't seen any bears yet. Maybe they have, like, a minimum game stage. Though, I was under the impression they didn't, so I don't know. Hmm. Let's get some rocks. Yeah, we haven't seen bears, zombie bears, wolves, or dire wolves. It's possible that it's because I haven't left the forest biome yet. This entire time I've been more or less just in the forest biome. And if I go to the other biomes, this is like the beginner biome. So 
if I go to like the wasteland, everything will be harder there, so I might actually start to see bears and stuff over there. I'm not going to go through the gate if I can just go here. I don't know for sure if we get better loot in the harder biomes or not. I mean, there's things that only bears drop. That could be an example of hard, of uh, better loot in a different biome. Well, actually, that's... I don't know for sure if those items exist anymore, so there's also that, but... Because there used to be a uh, bear testosterone or something that you could use in one item or another. Is it open at 6 or 6.30? Let's find out. There's definitely things in the other biomes that we have not seen, so it will be worth it to go look out there. There hasn't really been a good reason to go, like, rush there without a vehicle, though, so... Breakers. I don't have enough money. Oh, I should come back and get flax strapped if I can. Surprise, surprise. I suppose you have a helmet, a shovel, and knuckles. Here you go. Crafting ammo. Hmm. Crafting magazines will be better for now. Oh, blinding white background. Oh my god, he has a compound bow. Oh holy shit, I want that so badly. I would use that, like, exclusively. That is amazing. What else does he have? Actually, let's sell the stuff I need to sell first. I'm sure I have more money at home. Ooh, there's lots of concrete mix and cobblestone rocks. I should just come here with all the money I have and see what happens. Maybe, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get some good stuff. Oh, I can finally make quality one pistol! <laughs> that here. Jobs. Oh, another restore power. Fetch and clear. Oh, the working stiff. Nice, that's good. Ooh, this would reset the piggy bank, but the bank wasn't really amazing, I admit. Though the ATMs outside it are really good. I have a little assignment for I got a job. I've got a task for you. Ten ton evacuation point and our best moments. I think I'll pick the piggy bank since that'll be the easiest one to loot. Actually, I don't even need to go back home to get money because, like, I want to get that uh, that compound bow. It's way too good not to. Uh, I don't actually need to go home to get money, because if I just go over to the piggy bank, then I can loot that, all the ATMs, and those ATMs are very valuable. Plus there's also the cop car outside, which I think will get reset too. Ah! I thought I hit jump for that.
Well, he's gonna have that loot for... I didn't actually check when he reset, but he's gonna have it for a little bit, so... That's... it's okay. I don't have to worry too much about rushing over there. This will be a good place to go. Darn it. Keep that on me. What do I not need? Most of that stuff. Take food. Potatoes and shotgun shells in there. That should be fine. And now I have enough space. Okay. Got 30 lockpicks. Oh, I said I was going to take an intermission. Darn me and my terrible memory. Oh, an iron sledge. That's nice. That helmet light mod would be amazing if I didn't have one. Okay. I'm gonna pause. We do actually need to take an intermission. Be about five or ten minutes. Get up, stretch, get water and such. And then I will be back. And we'll be able to do some more stuff.
Hey everyone. I should just t say 10 minutes for the intermission, because realistically it's usually 10 minutes. <laughs> hey! Okay, let's loot some of these ATMs. Get a big fat stack of cash. And then... Back to the trader and get that fucking compound bow. Retrospect, I wish I had bought the jailbreakers while I was there at the uh, at the trader, but I have so many lockpicks it doesn't really matter. Ooh, 1,200 cash. 1,200 tokens worth of cash. I'm very lucky I didn't get injured by that. That? Pretty sure that's a screamer. Or not a screamer, a uh, spider zombie. That's not a real zombie, it's just a corpse. And this I will butcher. Missing. I'm gonna get the leather office chairs. The weather's valuable. I always forget where the hell the zombies are here. Oh, fuck. Oh. Didn't wake anyone up. Oh, I see one. There are definitely some behind the cash register. one in there. That glass right there is definitely to, like, notify the zombie you're here. Well, besides the fact that it's also for realism, but, you know. Oh, something up. Where's it outside? It's outside. Oh, whatever. It can't get in easily. Okay, I know that there's something. One of these. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, I will put the one behind there. Hoping to, to like, get the cashiers while they're still sleeping. Oh, I can't believe you broke through that. Well, I guess the snow zom the uh, lumberjacks are like the snow biome main zombie, which is why they're harder.
I've learned to just spam interact on the items. Because then if like your lockpick breaks, it just immediately goes back to lockpicking. Okay, that only took me 13 lockpicks for four things. That's pretty good. Okay, that's fine. Yes! Another broken vending machine. That forward steel is going to come in so handy over time. Some crap. One of the chains. Here, let me turn this into real medical bandages. That'll help. Also, I could probably use one right now. Oops. Get me to pause. How you doing? Okay, you're not going to get through there in a long time. It's totally not worth my time, but sometimes I'm like, you know, I could just edit these to, like, have a gender-neutral one. Like, edit the prefabs and just remove all gendered bathrooms from seven days. Because gendered bathrooms are stupid. And inefficient. Should be someone in here. Last time there was a cop in there. Oh. Uh, there's definitely a cop somewhere. There you are. Wait, what? Oh gosh. Colors always scare me. Okay, you know what? Okay, now that everything's heard me, I can loop. Shotgun shells. Trash. Where are the zombies? I, was, I, did, I said that last time, too. Are they down here? Maybe they're outside. Who knows? Rifle? Ooh! Breaching ammunition! I can craft breaching ammunition now, that's really good. That basically just, like, helps you, like, super, um, just, like, shoot through, um, 
It lets you shoot through things like saves to open them. And they just do it does like a lot of block damage, but like almost no entity damage. Instead of carrying lock picks, you can just carry a shotgun. <laughs> It's like, oh yes, the shotgun. My door opener. Do I? Okay, I can pick this up. Cool. I think I got everything. Now I can leave. Oh. Oh! Well, I don't like you. Cool. Now, are there any other... Cars or no? I, there's probably not another cop car here. Oh, airdrop! I don't have a huge amount of space left, but now I do. <laughs> Instead of stacks and stuff. Oh, I don't need that. Okay. Okay, I have 4,000 in old cash. Okay, so I will actually need to go home to get enough the 10,000 token uh, bow. Oh! This is a fence. Does, does this have a fence around the entire thing? Okay, good. I don't really like the fact that the fences pop in like that. That's really frustrating. I might need to uh, change some settings. I'm also noticing that like my frame rate's lower than it was before. Like then when I like when I started the series, so that kind of concerns me too. Nope, I got this one. Yeah, like the game just lagged when I tried to open that. That's really weird. Vehicle book? No. Nope. I always gotta check. Oh wow, my vehicle's taken a fair bit of damage. I don't... I guess just like through going over curbs and stuff. That's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna swap stackable stuff. Like great. Crafting magazine. Oh. Double. Double books. Oh, these aren't crafting magazines. These are the special ones. Craft fireman helmets that make you take 5% less damage when wearing them. Uh, sprinting with a club. Uh, use less stamina. And... Oh, I can harvest lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. It's all good. And then what are these? Two spears. Two assault rifle, two explosives. <gasps> Ooh, I can make the steel spear level one now. That's good. Where's home from here? Okay, I might as well just go straight home then. 
and grab my money and come back. Rather than going to the uh, trader straight away. That makes more sense. Once our horde base is built, it might be worth it to like actually go on an expedition. Because we know where other biomes are right now, so we should be good to go find some of them. And, or explore them, I should say. We don't need to find them, we know where they are. <laughs> I don't know why the Fates Motel is a Forsco. I always want to call them Four Star, I don't know why. stuff I want to sell in here. All the rest of the stuff's just going inside. Okay, good. I have more than enough. I want to wait to have some more stuff for that. That I can sell as is. That I can sell as is. No. Pull off that, and I'll sell these. Oh, and my stupid amount of headlights. I forgot about those. <laughs> oh, actually, before I do this, let me just make sure there's nothing else. Actually, I do want to drop those off. stock mod. Can I put that on this? Yes, I can. I'll take those off. I'll scrap it. it doesn't, it's not worth anything. Third wire mod, I'll leave here. Oh, can I put something... Can I put this on the sledge? Can I put this... Actually, what can I put on the sledge? Sure, I'll sell those. These will sell separately. This I'll put the headlamp on, sell. Cool, that should be good. I mean, that's way more than enough money. Why is this called Wrong Harvester? Isn't that interesting that like even the even the um, uh, parks are like points of interest, even if it's just like flat land, they're just zero they're just zero skull points of interest.
Ooh, there's some vehicles around here. Okay. He's all... Well, I mean, this is the end of a four skull POI, so I guess it makes sense that it's teeming with zombies. I just loot it? Doesn't seem like anything's gonna stop me. Sounds good to me. Gun store box. Hardened chest. Shamway box. Or power box. Yeah. Traps, wiring, salvage tools, harvesting tools, knife, knives, shotguns. Oh, I got another rod remover, that's nice. Okay, can now make double barrel quality too. Slowly getting towards the Um shotgun. Yes, there was a testicle monster. Those things are really creepy. I just went over a curb and that didn't take that didn't do any damage to my vehicle. That's good. Gas up. I'm waiting for like my vehicle to take a little bit more damage. Uh, because the repair kit I think does reveals 50% durability. Looking for something I don't care what folks say about Ooh. Oh, this is actually a hard choice. Get the Ford Steel the pistol, because this will make my Horde pistol better. Though I will be able to craft a better pistol eventually. Ford Steel's hard to get. That is a lot of frickin' money. Okay, now to buy my favorite item in the game. I guess you're not so bad after all. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's certainly really fucking good. Okay, so taking off the uh, mods. This, wow. That almost does a quarter more damage. Shoots faster, has more durability. Yep, that's good. I do have a lot of tokens. Oh, I can put Rod Remover on this too. I can't? Oh, I either put the Hunter or the Rod Remover. Whatever, I don't want the Hunter then. I don't really need damage to animals, it's not very useful. Well, I can make the wooden bows, so guess what I'm selling. Okay, what do I need from here? Take the explosives magazines. And then book. Do I need... No, I'm not going to buy any more water filters because I'll probably get some more from rewards. Quest rewards. I will buy all the gunpowder. Silencer mod. Concrete mix. Cobblestone rocks. Okay. Time to move on. That is a good point. I could get 762 ammo. Yep, uh, there's absolutely no reason not to. Well, that's all you Good eye. You show Thank you. Out. Okay. Interested in a gig? So take a Great supplies. Fetch. 
I'll pick the working stiff one, because I can reset that. The working stiff is very good. If I can reset what's there, then I can get all that stuff back. If I'm lucky, I can get, I can get some steel tool parts, which I'll really need soon for making steel tools. Oh, I forgot to use these. Ooh, I can make contact grenades. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. And pistols level 2. Nice, nice. Is there anything left here at the working stiff I can just, like, quickly grab that I need? Oh yeah, I didn't grab, like, any of the sand or anything. And the fertilizer is what? Oh, this potassium nitrate. I don't really need it, but I guess there's no reason not to grab it. Oh, I see a friend. Ah, yes, and I can finally use the recurve bow. Oh, I think this thing's so fucking cool. I love it so much. Yeah, the contact grenades, just you just chuck them, and as soon as they hit something, they explode. Does what it says on the tin. Did I say I didn't know what they did? If so, that's silly, because I do. I was using some earlier today. When I was doing some stuff in my creative world. Ooh, worse. Also, I'm going to take a ton of potted plants. All the potted plants belong to me. We'll eventually need to use these to decorate our house. Because so we're going to make a fucking awesome house when it's time. Box, cardboard box, cardboard box. And the loot room's just open, so there's that. Eh. Uh, oh, there must be a buzzard up there. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Uh. Why did I draw my bow for this? It's the worst thing! Stop! Get down here! Ah! Hello. Darn, I have an abrasion. Savage 2. Ooh, a level 6 iron shovel! That's really nice! I'm immediately going to equip that. You can't craft level 6 stuff. You can only craft it to level 5, so that's pretty frickin' awesome. Ah! I meant to grab my bow, so I was a bit concerned when I pull tried to pull it back and that happened. care about the rest of this area. Can I loot this? So I want to check the explosives thing, because it's not just going to be... Oh, 
Ooh, I got a better spear, too. That's nice. Though, I, I need to craft a steel spear when I get home. Because the steel spear is going to beat... Level 1 steel spear is going to beat both of these. I need to check the explosives right now. Explosives thing. Because... When you unlock a tier, it's not just one thing, usually. Okay, so dynamite's good for doing block damage. Uh, contact grenades for... Zombies. 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 I'll be able to get the landmines, which are good for zombies. Oh, you can... Oh, yeah, so you can craft stacks later on of, of various items, like gunpowder. And they're, like, a bit more efficient since you're crafting them in bulk. Hmm... Should I do this? Yeah, I'll do this quickly. I've done this enough times before. I don't know where that spider zombie is. Must be in here. Ah. You know what? It'll be easier to just do this. We call the store shelves because they give lots of good miscellaneous stuff. Oh, cash register? No, cash register. Okay. This might not look like it, but this is what it looks like when I when I loot quickly. <laughs> Oh, that's the vulture from before. Uh, no, nothing happens if you don't heal the abrasion. The abrasion just, like, if I remember correctly, it reduces your maximum stamina. Uh, and if you, uh, if you quote-unquote cure it, then it will heal faster. So you just have the maximum stamina decrease for less time. How you're supposed to get in here, I don't really care. Oh. Expected there to be something behind the desk. There was not. Hello. I need to be careful that something doesn't just come in and stink up on me. Oh, there's a wandering horde. It is very hard to shoot a bow while backing up. Cool. 
Oh, I don't need the bones. Alright, and let's get the thing that's behind here. Because the way that this one works is, uh, you go up here and then you fall down through the ceiling. This bow feels a lot different than the other one did. So I'm gonna- I still have to get used to, like, the feel of it. Apparently I missed some zombies. Very much running out of space. Can you put different sights on the new bow? Um, not that I'm aware of. I don't. I don't think so. No, not at this current time. I can have a purple bow. I actually just look dark now, but whatever. Oh, the zombies in here still. But I missed. Yeah. These always sneak up on me. Okay, the area is clear now. So let's find the supplies, wherever they are. I didn't realize the fertilizer was such a good source of potassium nitrate, wow. Okay, cool. I have the potted plants on me still, so I can stack them. And after this, I will never need to collect potted plants again, because I will have 40. Forty-one. Forty-two. 43, 44. Nice. Let me just make sure. It is still playing royalty free stuff, right? 
Okay, good. I want to make sure that it's not like swapping over to something else. Just like auto auto playing similar stuff. Oh, maybe it's up here, like on one of these. No. Oh, what the? Oh, it wants to be up on the roof. I just missed it. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's in here. Oh, I should be careful, it's nighttime. This is the side I was supposed to come in from, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I was supposed to come in from the other side. Uh, why must my inventory be so full? Sure, whatever. Here are the canopies. Okay. I don't have... yeah, I don't have... Flowers on me? Flowers? Feathers. Also need to be kind of careful, because I am out at night. Still. Or again. I don't know. This seems to be my M.O. Oh, barely was by his head. There we go. Oh, this reset the car too. Oh, there's a zombie to my left. A lot of zombies up here right now. Just about leave after I steal the remaining potted plants. I guess not stealing, considering that the previous owners are dead. Oh, who are these? Oh, these are crods. Like these are shed models. Like, like at an actual hardware store. That's cute. Car. Man, I'm not getting very good luck today on the car magazines. Careful off-roading. Vehicles are very fragile right now until the next update. So that is worth it. <laughs> I did actually see if the deer that time. Uh, uh, 
whatever. Oh god. I want the, I want the meat. I feel, it feels bad not taking the meat. Ah! Okay, now I definitely need to repair my bike. the rest from the bike. I'll leave that in here, just because I need it for later. Nope, need that to stay in here. Fueled. Okay. Should be fully repaired and fully refueled now. And we have all night to sort shit. All of this crap. Man, we've been going for three and a third hours now. It does not feel like that, I gotta say. I love being able to just like sort to like sort like things into the chests. So nice. There's usually, like, only very few things that don't sort. I mean, for a lot of Twitch streamers, it seems to be pretty normal to do, like, five or six hour streams, so... I think I actually do, like, fairly short streams by comparison to most people. that stuff. And I'm going to put this stuff in here. And I need to make my steel spear now. Right, I can track this. I always forget that. I love that feature so much. Spear parts. I wish once you crafted it, it would like un unselect it, like untrack it. It feels like it makes more sense to me. Oh yeah, none of my stuff is working because I don't have any stuff to input into it. stuff for the spear here. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Well, the other way around.
Okay, I do have some cement I can put on at least. That's something. Not very much, but it's something. Murky water. Let's cook it to you. Put the bicycle over in the mechanical chest. Makes more sense here. I have so many engines. And batteries. Lots of batteries. I feel like there's something else I was supposed to craft too, besides the steel spear. Okay, so this does almost 50% more power attack damage. Does about a third more general damage. And pierces more armor. That looks cool. Actually, looks really cool. I feel like it's less obtrusive than the other one, too. Like, I feel like the Iron Spear is bigger. I don't know. Is there anything else I wanted to craft? Oh my gosh, I can make mechanical tools now? That's cool. Well, I do need to make steel tools at some point, but I don't know if I have any steel tool parts. I have five, that's good. That's something. Actually, in that case... Let me pick a steel shovel up. Oh, it's gonna take all five of my steel tool parts. Ugh. And almost all of my forged steel as well. And all of my duct tape. Man, that's so expensive, but it's going to be a level 5 steel pick. I will use this for the rest of the game, unless I find a level 6, which would be a surprise. Would be a very nice surprise, though. Okay. Recipes. What can I do with this? Cowboy boots. I know I can make leather ponchos. These are worth about 100 apiece, so those are good. Very good to sell. I don't know if I need to have like a ton of leather on me for any reason. I use it in a lot of things, but you don't use very much. Unless I want to make leather armor, then I actually do need a decent amount. I'll make eight. That's still gonna be a lot of them to sell. Okay, is there anything else I can sell? Actually, let me apply some points. I could really... I could actually... Ooh, this next level of Spearman gets me 10 stamina back every time I kill something with a spear. 20 stamina, 30 stamina. Higher chance to slow. 
I actually should really get into that. I could go into perception, that would help a lot. The stamina benefits just like for running and stuff aren't as valuable anymore. Now that I have a vehicle. So I'm probably not going to go into this, probably going to focus on other things. Machine guns would be good. Level 3, yeah, so I need 3 fortitude for that. Archery. Bladed weapons. I do actually really like the bladed weapons, like they're they're fun for melee. If I went further into agility, I could actually do more stealth stuff, and I do want to do that. I think I'm going to go into agility, just so I can get more stealth things. Okay, all that to sell. You can only sell so many things at once to a person. So, like, you'll probably only take, like, two of these at a time, but I can just hold on to them. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can probably put more mods on this. Yeah, I can! Straight a blade mod will add bleeding. That's good. Oh, I love that I have a level 6 shovel. That's really nice. Oh, and I have two more mod slots on it, too. I don't even know what to put in there. Hi. I might actually want the mods off this one. The Gravedigger I already have. The Weighted Head I can add. I could add another Grip if I get another Grip. I just need to get a Grip. Eh. Does this work? Yes, it does. Okay. That'll mean I'll do more block damage, too. Oh, I should grab all my ammo back that I auto-sorted. Just you and me, Ron. No one else here right now. <laughs> Realistically, it has been a pretty long stream. I can just stream more. I don't have to... I don't have to keep myself to uh, just Tuesday, Thursday. I can do more. We did pretty good, though. Our base is looking amazing now. And by base, I mean the uh, horde base that we're slowly making. Got lots of unlocks. We are, in general, doing pretty darn good. Hard to get... Oh, man. It's very hard to get headshots from this, this range. She says and proceeds to get three in a row.
I don't know if I need to shoot higher or not. Maybe. Oh, chicken. This is really cheap ammunition, so it's worth the uh, XP I'm getting. Yeah, the uh, the um, hit marker, the, like the sound when uh, you hit something is very satisfying. It might actually be one of the main reasons I like the bow so much. It's just, it's very, very satisfying weapon to use. And there's a bunch of weapons in this game that are not particularly satisfying to use. Like the fist weapons. And the sledge some of the sledgehammers. And some of the uh just like a bunch of the melee weapons are awful to use, unfortunately. Like they feel awful to use. Just sad. Just because of this, Sledgehammer used to have, like, such an amazing, like, smack sound when you hit things with it, too. Oh, I got some steam tokens. I will fight you. <laughs> Put your dukes up, sir. Okay, I should actually call it though. Next stream we'll be able to finish up the uh, the horde base tree. We'll be able to finish the treehouse up. Okay, thanks for coming. Thanks to everyone who has been here and is here and so on. It's always fun to stream and I appreciate having other people around to do it with. I'll be calling it here. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to put up, uh, if I can, a new edited Seven Days to Die video each day, of the each weekday. I don't really do weekends unless I just have streams to put up. Um, yep, 8 should be coming up fairly soon. Episode 8. And yeah, I think that's all that's going on. So, if you haven't already, please follow the... Follow the um, Twitch stream, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Link in the chat. And you can join our Discord as well. Link somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, here. I need to get a bot to just do that stuff for me. Okay. Thank you all for coming. Have a good night. Bye.